breaking news. A shooting has taken place just north of the city. Word is, there are two, possibly three assailants. Apparently, they may be dressed as police officers, so be careful out there, peeps. Remember to hold it down here on Hawk 108.5 FM, keeping you up on the beats all night long. I feel woozy. What have you done now, jerk? It was just a joke. How's I supposed to know to hit his head that hard? Do what something. Are, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Just do something. Okay. Do something. Okay. Jason. Jason. Oh, Jason. oh you loser. <laughs> I thought you were really hurt. Asshole. Come on, Alice. Let's just leave these two douchebags alone for a while. They need some maturing time. Oh, Alice, no hard feelings. Mike deserved it. Those are some angry girls you've got there. Ah, uh, they'll come around once we get to the lake. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. We're already gonna get there a day late because you're working so much. Uh, speaking of which, we got a stop to make. What? Dude, it's already gonna be nighttime by the time we get there. I gotta pick up a car part. Yeah, where are you gonna pick it up? Everything's gonna be closed. I said pick it up, not pay for it. Um, yeah, just gotta put some tools away. All right, let's get the show on the road. We do have to make one stop first, though. Where? I have to pick up a car part. Are you serious, Jay? Where in the hell are you gonna go right now? Um, an acreage along the way. Whose acreage? Yeah, who do you know out there? <laughs> it's, it's my uncle's place. He's got a bunch of old cars out there, so. Yeah, he said yeah. come pick it up whenever I can. And you couldn't do it on the way back? Uh, he's got a guy selling it for scrap tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be midnight by the time we get to the lake as is. More reason for us to get on the road sooner. Um, how about right now? Just got to lock up and I'll meet you guys in the car. It's about time. Thanks, man. <laughs> Lying, theft, trespassing. One thing's for sure. <laughs> Knowing you is an adventure. Sorry about that, folks. Man was resisting arrest, and as you can see, he is a fucking handful. You kids wouldn't mind telling me what you're doing on this road at this time of night, would you? Oh, um, we're heading to the lake. We rent a cabin out there. Is that so? Yeah. You wouldn't mind showing me your license and registration, would you? Sure, officer. You mind, uh, Pulling ahead here, I gotta run this. What the fuck? That guy was should beat to shit. What do you think that guy did? I don't know, DUI? Who knows? 
DUI my ass. There was no car. Well, why did they do that to him then? To be honest, I don't really want to know. Maybe we should call someone, you guys. Oh, they're cops. Who else are you going to call? Besides, maybe that guy deserved it. Who knows? Maybe he's a pedophile or something. Something doesn't seem right. Sorry about that. I've had a lot of car thefts in the area lately, so I thought I'd just make sure. Oh, no problem, officer. Hey, what happened to that guy back there? We found him wandering down the side of the road. Went over to pick him up and uh, he attacks my partner. Why is he so beat up? It was like that when we found him. I, I think he's high on something. Thanks, officer. We better get going. All right. You guys have a great night at the lake. Ugh. Stop one. How long is this going to take? 20 minutes, tops. Are you serious? What are we going to do when you're doing that? Well, I'm sure we can think of something. So, Mike, where to now? Yeah, uh, don't worry, I know where the car is. Um, you guys just want to wait here? We're going to go for a stroll. Uh, meet you back in about 20. minutes to get through the run. Come on, I'm a professional. All right. So, this is your uncle's place, and why do you look so lost? Hey, you caught me. I have no idea whose place this is. Yeah, figured as much. Don't tell Alice, okay? Why should I lie to my best friend? Well, Jason's in some really rough water financially, and he's embarrassed about it being Mr. Manly Man. Your secret's safe with me. <sighs> Thank you. Aren't you Mr. Good Friend? I try. <laughs> 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 so, you interested in seeing my new moves? Yeah. Well, I have a sneak preview for you. Oh, I can't wait. You know, I used to live on an acreage just like this. No shit. Mm-hmm. I used to find it real spooky at night. My dad didn't help, though. He was always telling me scary stories. Really? That's fucked up. <laughs> Tell me about it. What kind of stories? A typical hook on the handle? He's calling from inside the house. <laughs> well, they were always different, but the one that really scared me the most was about a hunter. So, the hunter had returned from weeks of searching for food in the coldest winter he had ever witnessed. And alas, it was too late. His family had died of hunger. That's harsh. Yeah, but this wasn't the end of the story. The hunter was exhausted, and with the frozen soil, he couldn't dig in them graves, so he had to store them in the frozen cellar. Let me guess, they haunt him. Worse. Day by day, his depression got worse and worse. He wasn't eating, hoping every day that he could just suffer the same fate as his family and join them in heaven. And a few weeks passed, and something started to grow inside him. At this point, his mind had completely let go. He would slip in and out of consciousness. He started seeing vivid hallucinations. First, he'd see his wife come to him and berate him for not being a real man and providing for the family. Other times, he'd see his daughter 
crying and whimpering in the corner saying, I'm hungry, Daddy. He started to absolutely despise these spirits that haunt him daily. Eventually, his guilt subsided and his instincts took over. <laughs> oh, how did I get so lucky? <laughs> you haven't gotten lucky yet. <laughs> oh, you are awesome. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? <laughs> no, that's really what happened. He ate him? Twisted, right? No offense. What was your dad thinking telling a kid stories like that? It's a morality tale. How's that a morality tale? He ate his dead wife and daughter. Okay, what would you have done? They were frozen, so they were fresh. It was either that or die. I guess, but that's not a moral tale. <laughs> well, we are all animals, and it's our will to survive that pushes us through the times we don't think we can make it. Where do those two get to? They could be anywhere, really. Really?
Marin. Hopefully you don't uh, interrupt anything. <laughs> Jason. So, Alice. You know, I was just thinking that, you know, we've been together a while now. Huh, doesn't seem that long. Well, it's been six months. Six months? Really? Guys. Time to get to the lake! Do you think we went the right way? I don't know, it's really hard to tell where that sound came from. Maybe we should just go back to the car. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, all your friends are dead.